Hi Leo, this is a general love reading for May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs and it is general so it's not going to resonate for all of you and that's okay. You can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs or you can get a personal reading and all that information is in the description box. Alright, also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed and let's see what's going on with Leo. So overall energies for the first half of May. Oh, all right, one sec. All right, there we go. I'm just gonna take the first two that flipped over. We have the answer is no and conclusion. I have a feeling we got something very similar, I think in mid-April, but I cannot remember for, for which sign. I almost wanna say it's Libra or maybe Cancer? Can't really remember. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe you're dealing with one of those signs. So what I'm getting here is that there is definitely a conclusion, all right, in a situation here, either between you and another person or maybe um, your person and somebody else, okay? It could go either way. But somebody is saying no to a specific connection and there is some kind of a conclusion on the horizon. So let's get into the details here and see what this is about. And whatever this is, it definitely feels like it's like a definite um, conclusion. All right, like this person's like, no, like this is done. And again, it could be you, how you're feeling about somebody. Let's see. So we have the lovers crossed by the knight of wands. All right, okay, so it does look like, it, um, for some of you, okay, it could definitely be um, somebody needing to make a decision between two different people, all right? It doesn't have to be that. It could just be that there's definitely a very, very strong um, love connection here, okay? Even though there's also a conclusion. So we'll figure this out. Um, it feels like the obstacle here, the challenge, is somebody really taking action towards towards this connection, towards this love. Um, let's see, recent past, because we're gonna get more information when we clarify. Recent past, we have the Four of Cups. Near future, we have the Five of Wands. Yeah, so it feels like there was either some kind of a rejection in the past or somebody just not really um, making an offer or somebody ignoring what someone else was offering them. All right, and there is a little bit of a challenge also coming up in the near future, which could just be, um, possible disagreements or possible um, um, just like little arguments with other people even, all right? Just interference from others outside of the connection. Let's see, for you, we have the Four of Swords. For them, we have Strength. More about you here, we have the Eight of Pentacles. For them, the Tower. And potential outcome here, we have the King of Pentacles. And a final message for you is the Two of Cups. Okay, so... Yeah, you know, this feels a little complicated, so I might not even really be able to figure it completely out, but I will relay what I get, the energies that I pick up on, and you will know if it makes sense for you. All right, so for you, what I'm seeing here with the Four of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, you are healing, all right? You are healing, I feel possibly from this connection. I feel like there were things that happened, things that were happening maybe even for a long time because I do feel like there is a strong connection here with this other person. You are finally at this place where you are, I feel, feeling at peace. And because of that, I feel like you're beginning to focus on other things, maybe other areas of your life. It doesn't mean that you do not um, want this connection, although again, for some of you, that could be your conclusion. You're just saying no to this. Could That could be you. Um, it's going to be different for everybody. But either way, you are focusing on other things. I feel like you're focusing on your work or just, just other things that you might be working on in your, in your life. And that's because you've been able to take your focus off of this at least to an extent, more so than you had before. And it's because of this healing. 
All right, now for them, they have strength and and the tower. So this is your energy actually here, but I feel like, I mean, yeah, it could definitely be that they have you on their minds, but I'm also seeing this as them finding strength within themselves for something. So we'll see what that's about. Um, I feel like actually that strength is related to this tower here, all right, that they are creating. There's something that is being destroyed. Something is coming down. Something is happening. Something big. And I feel like this is going to bring about a major change. And again, I mean, if you're, if this is you saying that this is done, well, maybe by this time you won't care so much. But I have a feeling that for most of you, if you're watching this, that's not going to be the case. Um, but we'll see. To some extent, I feel like you do, you do care. Um, we do have the King of Pentacles as the potential outcome here. So yeah, that's, I feel like that's Taurus energy. And that talks about commitment. That talks about stability. Now that could be your own energy um, concerning this situation, but I kind of feel like you're, I feel like you're already there. So I do feel like it could be this person. All right. Um, we'll see. And we do have the two of cups, which is love as the message for you. So I feel like, yeah, you know, there's def this is definitely a strong connection. Um, maybe you're feeling like this is over and you're saying no, like that's just, it's just done. And maybe that's just not really the case. Let's clarify. So let's clarify the lovers with the Knight of Wands. All right, we have the Knight of Wands again and the Five of Swords. Yeah, so somebody here, I feel like they're not going after what it is that they want, okay? So it could be you. There, It's like there's some kind of, it could be you for in for some of you, all right? Could even be your other, the other person here. Um, it's like there's a self-deception here. It could even be that this person might even be playing a little bit of mind games with you. I don't feel like it's on purpose. I feel like it could just be their own sense of confusion um, when it comes to certain issues. That drive is definitely there, right? With that Knight of Wands, I feel like this person is um, it seems to be pretty impulsive if this is you or if this is them. But I feel like they're not acting on this impulse and it could even be because they are trying to tame themselves. So that they don't do anything just based out of an impulse, if that makes any sense. Um, but at the same time, I feel like by doing that, it's also keeping them back from what it is that they truly, truly want. So again, um, could be your, it could be them. Let's see, let's let's take a look at your energy. Let's see the Four of Swords. So you are healing. So that's why I'm more inclined to think that it is your person, the person that we're reading here for, but it could still be you. Yeah, see we got the Lovers and, and okay. So we have the Lovers and we have the Eight of Swords. So I do feel like there's still a connection here. You still feel the love for this person. You still feel the bond. You still feel the connection. However, you are healing from having felt very, very um, trapped in this, maybe even a little bit obsessive at times. Um, there may have been a point in time where you felt like you would never, ever recover from this. And I'm not saying that you are 100% completely um, healed, but... I feel like you are way better off right now. So you are really moving in a very positive direction. All right. You're in a much better place now than you were in the past. I feel like there was this sense of, you know, I am doomed. Um, I'm just stuck with this connection for the rest of my life. And I'm just going to stop being miserable because I just, this is just what I want. And it's not working out for whatever reason. Um... Yeah, you're you're healing that. You're healing that. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles. All right, the Seven of Wands and the Three of Wands. 
All right, so yeah, so you're able to focus on other things, as I said. Um, I'm getting though, you know, just be a little mindful of if maybe that's a little bit of a self-defense mechanism. Maybe it's just a way of blocking out whatever else you're feeling for this person. Because um, with the Three of Wands, I do feel like you're also kind of... Um, I feel like, that you know, you, you were expecting maybe things to work out in a different way by now and they didn't. And so I feel like you're just completely like, you know what? I, I do feel like you are a little bit in this energy, like just trying to bring this closure or conclude it or you're just... Or you're just feeling like the answer is always going to be no for this connection. And because of that, you might be blocking out some of your um, some of your pain or some of your disappointment, some of your emotions, some of your feelings when it comes to this particular connection. So I feel like this is like a little bit of a message that, yeah, you know, focus on other things. Like, that's actually good. That's a good thing. Um, to move forward in other areas of your life and to focus on other areas rather than being um, completely um, absorbed by, by this connection. But at the same time, be careful not to just be blocking certain aspects of yourself out just because things didn't really work out in the way that you had wanted or because you feel that strong sense of... Um, disappointment and I do feel I do feel like there's a little part of you here that is kind of waiting um, to see if maybe you know things will will take a turn which I feel like they are in some direction at least because we have the tower here for this person so let's let's clarify strength for them. See, I, I'm telling you, Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Wands. So there's definitely a shift here. There's definitely a lot of um, strength and courage that this person is building up, possibly even compassion and understanding when it comes to something that may have happened between the two of you here. And I feel like that is a shift. That is what things are shifting towards from their end, all right? There's something here when it comes to a commitment and it could even be you know if there is another commitment here as I said in the beginning which I feel is the case for some of you there is a shift there there is a shift when it comes to some type of a commitment here where that shift would actually require some strength and and courage let's see the tower And then for those of you, this could be, you know, um, in terms of commitment towards you, because then we also have the King of Pentacles up there. So I do see things moving in a more stable way. I see this person um, making a shift towards finding stability. So clarifying the tower, we have, we have the Magician and we have the Page of Wands. All right. So yeah, this is something that they're manifesting themselves. And I don't, I don't see it as a bad thing, you know, when there's a tower that, yeah, it can be something that is very difficult. It can even be shocking sometimes. Um, it can make us feel like we're just starting over and that we don't know where we're going and we don't know what to hold on to. It can have all of these energies, but I feel like this person is consciously moving in that direction and consciously manifesting that even with a sense of, uh, I, I even want to say enthusiasm. But at the same time, even though it's still very, very difficult, let me actually get one more for that tower. We have temperance. Yeah, so it's the type of tower which is actually, I feel, um, it's like deliberately manifesting that, deliberately moving in that direction. And I feel like it's something that has been building, 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 building for a pretty long time. And I feel like it's going to happen when this person is in a place of balance, which I feel like they are moving in that direction. That is this shift. That is what this strength is about. Finding that balance within themselves to even tame certain, um, certain, either certain impulses or certain fears or just anything anything that has been the block here when it comes to that Knight of Wands, because now I do feel like this is your person the way I'm, the way this is unfolding here. All right, unless the roles are reversed. All right, 
let's see that five of wands, which is for the near future. All right, we have the Hierophant and we have the Two of Pentacles. All right, so for those of you where there is another commitment here involved, I do see some arguments, some struggles, some resistance possibly um, coming from other people when it comes to that. For others of you, this could just be societal issues, all right, coming in into play, which might cause a little bit of just a little bit of a struggle either for you or for your other person or even um, between the two of you. I don't feel like it's anything that you cannot manage. I don't feel like it's anything that you cannot balance out. I actually feel like it will be balanced out, but I just feel that coming up, you know, you might be met by some resistance and what it is that you're trying to do. I mostly feel like it's for your person here who is trying to get to that tower that is going to have a little bit of resistance because this person wants that tower. Um, <laughs> that's the thing. I feel like they deliberately really want that tower and that's why they're moving in that direction. And that's why it requires so much strength because it's very deliberate. And it does take a lot of strength to be like, you know what, I'm going to create my own tower. And I feel like actually that is what might be that conclusion also. Um, saying no to the way things were, saying yes to a change, saying yes to the tower. And thereby bringing some kind of a conclusion to whatever needs to be concluded, pretty much. It's just that it's going to be a bit of a struggle, all right? Um, either just by society, by other people, um, by another commitment, whatever. Let's see the King of Pentacles for the potential outcome. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands and the Two of Swords. All right, so yeah, it's a, it's, it's a difficult path, all right? It's a difficult path that this, I, I feel like that's your person here, um, that they're taking here towards finding that stability, towards really being able to um, find where it is that they want to commit themselves and find just be stable and consistent in that, all right? It's going to come with a bit of heaviness. And I feel like there's going to be some kind of, there's still going to be some kind of a disagreement. I'm not necessarily getting that that disagreement is with you, although for some of you it could be, because it could be that you don't want that anymore. Like that, like I said, that answer is no, and conclusion could be you saying no to this connection. Um, but, I feel like for the most of you, this is going to be um, that there's going to be still some kind of a disagreement with whatever is going on here in the near future that I was talking about, that resistance from outside of the connection that's going to play out. But I feel like, like it doesn't really matter because you still have that King of Pentacles there. I feel like this person or you, you know, or the both of you are standing strong against that. And I say that also because we do have... Um, the Two of Cups here as the final message. So let me actually clarify that. It doesn't really need clarifying it, but yeah, just got half the deck out. All right, let's see. The Four of Pentacles. And the world. Yeah, so there's, you know, there's that conclusion. Um, I feel like this Two of Cups, this love is coming in as soon as somebody releases something else in order for there to be that, that conclusion. And I do feel like that is what, um, what the message is here. And it could even be for you, you know, like um, release release whatever it is that you might be holding on to that you are actually blocking from your awareness. Allow that to come to your awareness here, all right? It's what we, what I was talking about down here with this, um, with the Seven of Wands. 
all right, I feel like you might be holding on to something that that needs to be released. And I feel like that is actually helping you along to find this love, whether it is with this person or with somebody else. Although I do get for a lot of you, it is with this person, all right? And that's going to be like a conclusion to a particular situation from the past, which is leading up to that, to that love. All right, so Leo. If this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. And if it did, please do give me a thumbs up. And let's see. And if it didn't, you know, like I said, it's general. So it's not going to resonate for all of you. And we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So yeah, there's a conclusion. But <laughs> this connection here, all right, it's, it's very strong. This is true love. We got the lovers twice. And now we have this, we have the two of cups. I mean, it's just like all over the place. So yeah, Leo, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.